Hey, 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 this is Nevermore of the Nevermore.com. If you're coming in, I am so excited to be here today, guys. I've been on a little hiatus, but I'm here, I'm back, I'm showing up, and I would love for you to share this out. Awesome. Let's invite some of our friends over. Okay. Let me know where you're coming in from because I love to go behind and shout out my people. So drop a comment and let me know where you're coming in from. Okay, guys? Awesome. Yes, I'm just inviting some of my black girls of drop shipping on over. Awesome. So excited. I'm going to give you guys some juice today. Okay, guys, letting you know what are five untapped traffic sources that you need to start using today? Five untapped traffic sources that you can start using today. Yes. And it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to have a store or anything like that. This could go for any business. All right, so let me know where you're coming in from. Hi, Jeanette. How are you, beautiful? Nice to see you on. Yes. All right. If you are ready to get this party started, let me see a one in the comments. Let me know where you're coming in from, and then let me see a one if you are ready to hear number one of five untapped traffic sources. Okay? Awesome. Awesome. So, one. Number one, Reddick. Reddick.com is an untapped traffic source. Reddick is more of a form style. Um, there are several different forms going on over there. You know, Serena Williams, the tennis player, yeah, her baby daddy slash husband, yeah, he's the owner of Reddick. So over there is a big community and it drives a lot of traffic, but a lot of people don't know about Reddick. So if you get on that train now, you can drive traffic to your websites. Any links, if you're an affiliate or if you have a boutique, um, or if you have several different type of businesses, there's a form right there on Reddit for you. So you go on over there, search what your um, niche is, and you can see different forms following in that category. You can go ahead and add a comment to someone else. And the best way to do this and not be spammy like is in your signature, you can put a link to your website. Um, so it'll pop up automatically when you make a comment. Or you can also create a post and send traffic to your site. Don't do it in a spammy way. Make sure it has some value in it. Okay? Awesome. Number two, solo ads. Solo ads. Okay? Solo ads is a great source of untapped traffic. Solo ads can be purchased on different websites as far as Fiverr. That's a good one. Um, they have some on ClickBank. That's a great one. Um, some Facebook private groups have solo ads, and you can get um, people to run a solo ad. Now, what is a solo ad? A solo ad is a ad where you send your link to a vendor, and they then take that link and blast it to their list. Their list is thousands and thousands of people um, that you would have never been able to reach, but they can definitely get you, get your people in front of your link, okay? And that's a great way to get that untapped traffic. And that's what the solo ad vendor is for, all right? Perfect, perfect. Hi, Aubrey, how are you, beautiful? Nice to see you on, all right? So let, we're just going through some ways to get traffic to your website, whether if you have a store or any type of website, okay? Great. Number three, Google AdWords. Google AdWords is definitely untapped. It's a, it's a paid traffic source, okay? Paid traffic source. And Google AdWords is based on what people are searching. They have different tools, tools such as Keyword Planner, where, for example, I have a celebrity-inspired boutique, and I was selling cat eye sunshades okay so i went over to google keywords typed in cat eye sunshades and i saw the amount of people who were searching those type of words monthly and it gives you a click per rate so for example it said cat sunshades have been searched 1500 times a month and it told me that it was going to cost me 93 cent per click um if i wanted to run that ad to my celebrity inspired boutique Okay, and that's a great way to know. It's like, okay, this is exactly what people are searching. And now I just pay so that 
when they search those words, my site comes up as an option. That's how that works. And then when they click on my link, it goes on over to my website and I get that traffic. All right, perfect. Number four, number four, untapped traffic. YouTube, YouTube is amazing. Why is YouTube so amazing? Because it's one of the top search engines of the world, okay? Everyone is on YouTube. YouTube is free for the consumer, okay? And if they do, they still have subscriptions, okay? And it's great because you can start a channel right now. You can go start a YouTube channel right now. And then in the description of your videos, you send traffic to your website by putting that link right there in the description so for example i'll put this video up that i'm doing right now five untapped traffic sources okay and i'm going to use those exact words because they are being searched high on google and then in the description i'll put a link to my challenge for the five day drive traffic to my link for my Facebook group. And that link will be in the description. And it's gonna send traffic to people to apply for my challenge. That's how you send traffic, right on YouTube. You do a video, put a link in the description, and then you post it and make sure you use tags that people are searching. That's it, you're just using keywords. That's it, all right? And last but not least, Pinterest, guys. Pinterest is popping. Hi, Kayla. Kayla is a black girl of dropshipping. Okay, guys. Hi, Kayla. How are you, lovely? We're just talking about five untapped traffic sources, okay? And we're on number five. Number five is Pinterest. Pinterest is big. It's big for women, okay? So if you're in any niche that's catered to women, you want to get on Pinterest. And why is that? Pinterest is heavily searched Okay, they give you suggestions. So you come up as a suggestion when you pin things over there on Pinterest. Pinterest is very hard to crack. So there are not a lot of marketers over there on Pinterest. So if you are one of the people who are like, I need another way to market, I need another way to find traffic, go on over to Pinterest and master it like no one else has, okay? It's a very, very open market there and you create boards and you join other boards on Pinterest and you pin a link directly from your website. Okay, and that will have people clicking on your link and repinning your link on other boards over and over and over again. And that sends traffic to your other to your website up to three to five months, sometimes years, depending on if your pin is very popular. So that is a great source of traffic if you're in any niche that caters to women. Women are on there all day long, millions and millions of women at that. Okay, so people go over there when they have a wedding, they use it for inspiration, okay? They use it for um, the vegans. They have like meals and recipes. So Pinterest is very open. I use Pinterest for like blogging, different ways and how you can find printables. I do uh, get recipes for my kids off of Pinterest. So I love it. When I renovated my house, I, I use Pinterest for to pin everything and every link that I wanted to buy. So people on Pinterest, have their credit card out, guys, is what I'm trying to tell you. People on Pinterest are ready to buy something and they're over there pinning and looking for different ways, okay? So I hope you found value out of these five untapped traffic sources. Let's go to the comments. I'm still working on my shop so I can publish. I have so much going on. I'm trying to find a way to make time for everything. Oh my gosh, Aubrey, aren't we all, aren't we all? So let me give you some suggestions with that. You have to write out your schedule. I know it sounds so easy. You're like, okay, right? But get you a routine, okay? The best way is to block out times. I use my phone as my personal assistant. I use the calendar to block out every single thing. So my day starts at 6 a.m. in the morning. And then it says, okay, 6 a.m. to 6.15 is meditation. And then the description, it tells me what type of meditation I can do. I can pray. I can do affirmations. I can um, listen to different um, podcasts podcast or listen to some of my motivational, but I have it right there in the description for me. So I don't have to tell myself, don't do it because I'm looking for a way out, which that's why I haven't been on here because I was falling off. 
And I'm being transparent. Um, being a leader, I'm letting you know I was falling off. I wasn't using my mindset work. I was giving so much out. I wasn't taking time to replenish. So now I have control because I, I realized the problem. I stepped back got some things in order, put some systems in place, and we're really working on a hard schedule that blocks out time, saying like, okay, 11 to 12, I cannot do any calls, I can't do any coaching, I have to focus on the children and get my kids out, get my daughter out the door. You, you see that? Or I have to focus on just lunch for the kids at that time, and then I can go back into my work or my project-based things. Hi, love. Hi, Felice. How are you? And so, yes, I'm all about the time and, and realizing what you need to do. And you need to do priority. What's highest priority? Sometimes we don't um, know what, where to start because we haven't prioritized. Like going live, this was very important for me today because I haven't been um, I haven't been going live. So I said, I need to come back and serve my people. And I'm here and I'm going to show up now that I have my system in place. So I know exactly what you mean. Wow, mm -hmm. I just told the same thing earlier. That's my task this week is to plan and set specific times. Yes, yeah, set specific times to do specific things. Okay, guys? So I hope I helped you. I hope I motivated someone else to um, get past that block. When it's so hard to do something, that means you really need to do something. Okay, you need to do something that's going to make you push you. And it's easier said than done. The best way to do it is just start doing, start going through the motions. If you don't feel like doing something, just start doing it. Okay. So I have to run to get the baby. Okay, guys. So thank you so much for joining. If you want to get into my Facebook live challenge. Okay. My challenge is this five days of drive traffic to my link. And I'm going to give you tasks every single day. And it's going to start next Monday, Monday through Friday. And if you want access to that, just drop a number five below and I'll send you the information this week and access to the private group. Okay. So let me know if you have any questions and or concerns. And I am your girl, never here of nevermore.com. Have a great day.